Hello Galaxy Heroes. So, Places of Power, tiers one, two, and three. Title is slightly incorrect because it says that um, tier three is autoed. Tier three is autoed, but you've already noticed that we're currently on the auto setting and whizzing through. So this is, I've actually done this one in order. So this is the tier one, which I just slapped on auto. Um, I played tier two just because it gives me the opportunity of using Vader and I'm not very good with the ray counters uh, working towards it, but it's taking me a bit longer than I would like. So not really practicing it. Um, not that au okay. I should be, but I'm not. Hold my hands up. Yeah, mea culpa. But this, uh, so this is, I think, I think I speeded them all up just to condense it down, you know, because who wants to watch, you know, well, I'm not sure actually. Uh, do, 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 uh, men, quick mental arithmetic. It was about 18 minutes in total, so I've trimmed it down by six just by speeding up. So the uh, the, the next one, um, I'm always going in advance of what's you know, what the video is about, or whatever. The next one is uber fast in comparison to this one because it's the one I played manually. Ergo, it took a lot longer. So, um, and we've also got two comps within the three tiers. So this comp is for tiers one and two, and there are two changes um, for tier three and the auto, but we'll get to that when we get to that, until I spoil it and say what it is beforehand. But this was, yeah, I. it's lovely having Vader there, um, being able to use Darth Vader within, you know, a Sith challenge, or, you know, using Sith challenges, obviously, it's a Sith v Jedi, fantastic to, uh, to be, you know, with the reworks and everything. I think this rework is great. Personally, I haven't had a, the opportunity, as I say, to, uh, really indulge. However, when I do, I do enjoy, even when it's on auto and I'm just watching how it should be done. Um... Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Um, and also it's quite handy, the fact that Pal the palps lead. Um, the fact that we had to relic seven palps to be able to unlock Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Um, yeah, it's just an added bonus, isn't it? That we get to use a tunes that we had to gear um Sith Trooper is he's kind of like a shoe in. I mean he's kind of one of the most MVP tunes in game I would say. So uh so yeah there we go. So there's the first one which is the two meter mats. So this one is as I said this one is a lot lot quicker because I play this manually and I'm sure I don't know still kind of getting used to what to do where and the boosts and everything if you throw toss these saber at someone that's a bit blue or got the blue badge on it doing all the damage in the boost, I believe so yeah yeah as I say still getting to grips with it all however um yeah, play through yeah. Even at double speed, this one is still the longest of the three videos, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, it is what it is. Manual does always take longer than auto. Um, yeah, even my ships, I'm just digressing that gap filling, aren't I? But ships where you have to go through all the OLA, all of that. Uh, yeah, because the ships do something, they do a twirly thing before they finally fire the shot. And yeah. we do get a little bit of this but there's not many of them that are you know, Sith are quite brutal they, they don't really do all the Olay stuff they just whack your head <laughs> uh, sorry sorry that's a bad sign when you're laughing at your own jokes and stuff. but uh yeah uh, Vader and Sith Trooper the house lead then you've got the back up there with the SF who again is uh, oh sorry but I just seem to have a lot more fun characters. I don't know. I don't know. I suppose it makes sense. You know, they've got to be strong to pose a, a threat to all light side. Uh, yeah. So, 
but they do get some cool dudes, don't they? And the Jessies. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I'm just aware now that there's loads of things that I have to agree to, and if I start down a, a part of discussion, I need to be aware of what I'm saying. And yeah. Gap filling. T swilling. Where are we? Five of eight. Um, can I say so? Uh, I will also be uploading. I did do. All I've done is the um, Mon Moth challenge. I was only able to get her up to gear nine and I had two stun guns on. I only had one. Now I'm looking at her and am I going to throw back at her and just get her to gear ten or four? And no Zetas, because I've only got one Zeta at the moment. So I might just park Mon Mothma. However, it was fun doing the challenges and um, I did enjoy some. I did kind of looking at uh, how Pal runs with Mon Mothma. Um, I did take my Pal. No, no, I didn't. I took my, my Pal from the 11 back to the uh, the, uh, I forget what the name of the comp was, but Heroic Sif early days with Han and Pal and, and a few others. Yeah, the name eludes me at the moment, that comp. But um, I had Pal then on gear 11, um, and I did take him up to gear 12, and I haven't put the data on him as yet. Um, but it was quite interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll dig out the recording. Um, I mean, basically, the return for Scarlet. Actually, no, that's the one where we're giving him where he does have the Zeta. But even without, yeah. And that's, yeah, that's only a gear 12. I'm sure there are some relic footage already out there. Um, you just need the comps. So, we finally made it through to the last round. Um, again, this is the tier two. This is the how not to play these rounds. But uh, yeah, <coughs> but yeah, stuck. Come on, kill someone. Yeah, there we go. Right, as I say, in the speed, I think. So, Froggy gone. Now, these three should really take two rounds. We'll look and check them. Yeah, Eve's got like nine debuffs on him, so I think he's about to copper. Yeah. Is he? Yes, he is. There we go. And then, we're pretty much done. Yay! And here is. Now, so that's the tier two rewards. Um, and strangely, the tier three rewards are exactly the same. So this is tier three. So as I said, comp wise, there was some slight changes here. So the changes are that we've dropped Sif Trooper and we have dropped Darth Vader and replaced with Darth Revan and Darth Nihilus. So my, my Nihilus, <clears throat> not that it's important, but he's double zated, so he does have the uh, inflict the health down thing. Um, yeah. And, well, they're all, other than Palps, Palps is not maxed. Um, he doesn't have the second Zeta, and I'm sorry to say that he still doesn't have a full 6e mod set. Um, Bastilla does, Revan and Darth Malik do, and Darth Nihilus is Relic 2, and again is missing, doesn't have a full 6e. I think, it, I think he may have one or, or two 6e, two at most, but I've, whatever was on there was moved as metas changed um, and switching over to different, you know, the different metas. That's what we do, isn't it? We move the mods to 
from one to the other to, yeah, and so on. Second cuppa. Uh, I know it's speeded up, but just the speed at which, because this is kind of the tricky one. If Rex gets his Rexonate off on the wrong tune, then, well, or on any of them, and it actually sticks, that's it, you're screwed. So, uh, yeah, we've got through there. Now we're on to this little trio here. Uh, and then we've got the really dodgy named um, Jedi. Mm. But it's just, yeah. Loving the, uh, again, I know it's speeded up, but the efficiency here is just, um, I'm really appreciating efficiency and, and yeah, just, just strength, power or whatever. That comes from frustration of uh, having to compete in a shard arena with lots and lots of rays with Jedis and including Hermit Yoda and or what as well. So yeah, it's just like, ugh. so anywhere where you can get to just do pure stuff is beautiful. Um, I have a confession to make. I did try this manually first of all, I was woeful at it. Um, AI is uh, a much better player than I on offense. Um, but look at that, I mean, <laughs> We've just ploughed through them at a ridiculous rate. And considering the uh, the previous places of power, the Bounty Hunters was such a chore. This was just an absolute pleasure. So that's it. That's me sharing my three tiers. Hoping that you enjoyed this all. Thank you for watching.